In this presentation, we will understand the concept of if-else statement. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is introduction to the if-else statement. The second topic is the shorthand if-else. Let's get started with the first topic that is introduction to the if-else statement. In the last presentation, we have understood what is the if statement. We have understood that if statement allows us to execute a statement or a set of statements based on some condition. If the condition satisfies, then the statement inside if will be executed. Otherwise, it will not be executed. This is what we have learned in the last lecture. Now, we want to understand what is if else. We already know what is if statement. Now, the main question is, what is the meaning of else? The else statement can be used with the if statement to execute a block of code when the if condition is not satisfied. So, if the condition inside if is not satisfied, then in that case, the else statement will be executed. Or in other words, we can say, that the statements inside else block will be executed. Let's see the syntax first. The syntax looks like this. We are well familiar about the syntax of the if statement. First, we must specify the keyword if, then space, and then the condition that we want to check. If the condition satisfies, this means that if the condition becomes true, then in that case, the statement inside if will be executed. This comment can easily be replaced by a statement or a set of statements that we want to execute based on this condition. If the condition is true, then the statement or a set of statements inside if will be executed. If it is not the case, if it is the case that the condition is false, then in that case, the statement inside else will be executed. Here, we must specify the keyword else and then the colon. And then we can provide the statement or a set of statements inside else. So the statements inside else will be executed when this condition is not satisfied. And the statement or a set of statements which are outside if and else will be executed no matter what. They do not depend upon the condition. I hope this idea is clear. If somehow it is not clear, then it will be clear with the help of an example. Let's say that age of some person is 20. Here I have created this variable age and I'm making it point to 20. So this age is representing the age of some person and age is 20. Now let's say that we want to check whether the person is capable of voting or not. This means we want to check whether a person can vote or not. In most of the countries, a person can vote if his or her age is greater than 18. So, let's check this condition. If age is less than 18, then in that case, the person cannot vote. So, we want to print this message, you can't vote because your age is less than 18. If the age is greater than or equal to 18, then in that case, we must print, you can vote. Now, there is no need to type another if statement. We can use the else block. Why is that the case? Because if this condition is not satisfied, then it is clear that age must be either greater than 18 or it must be equal to 18. So, without hesitation, we can type else colon and then after this, print you can vote. So, if the age of the person is greater than or equal to 18, then in that case, this message will be printed on the screen, which indicates that the person can vote. And we want to print this message also, done, to indicate that we are done with this program. Now, this will be printed regardless of this condition. This statement does not depend on this condition. So, if we run this code in Visual Studio Code, like what we did in the last lecture, we will get this output, you can vote, and then done. Why are we getting this message, you can vote? Because age of the person is 20 and this condition is not satisfied. 20 is not less than 18. 
20 is greater than 18. Therefore, the else block will be executed. This means that this statement will be printed on the screen. And this is the reason why we are seeing this message. Apart from this, we will also get this message done because this statement will be executed no matter what. Now, let's change the age to 16 and let's see what happens. We know that this time the age is 16. Therefore, this condition is satisfied because 16 is less than 18. This means that this message will be printed along with this message. Hence, the output is you can't vote and done. I hope with this it is clear what is the significance of else statement. Else statement will be executed when the if condition is not satisfied. This is all we need to remember. So, with this we are done with this topic. Let's move to the next topic that is the shorthand if else. So, what is the meaning of the shorthand if else? In the last presentation, I told you what is the meaning of shorthand if. Shorthand if is used when there is just one statement to execute within the if statement. So, shorthand if else is used when there is one statement in if and one statement in else. So, it is used when only one statement for if and one statement for else needs to be executed. Now, let's see the syntax. The syntax looks like this. Let's focus on this first. If condition. If the condition is satisfied, then the if statement will be executed. Here, if statement comes before if condition. Else, else statement will be executed. So, after if condition, else comes and then the else statement. If this syntax is confusing to you, it will be clear once we see the example. Let's move on to the example. Let's consider the same example. Let's say age is 20 and here we are checking if age is less than 18, then print you can't vote. Otherwise, you can vote and print done. Here it can be observed that within if statement, we have just one statement and within else also we have just one statement. So, we can use shorthand if else because there are only one one statements each in if and else. Now, let's use the shorthand if else. Here, if statement comes before if condition. This means that print you can't vote must come before if age less than 18. So, this is how we can write this. Print, you can't vote if age less than 18. Now, there's no need to put this colon. We can remove this. After this, else must come. So, we must put this else over here. Then we must remove this colon. Now, we can put this print, you can vote after this else because else statement must come after else keyword. Hence, let's put print, you can vote after this else. Now, this is how the entire statement looks like. Let's read this. Print, you can't vote if age is less than 18. Else, print, you can vote. Now, the statement makes sense. It is saying that you can't vote must be printed if age is less than 18. Otherwise, you can vote must be printed. We know what is the output of this program. We will get the same output. You can vote and then done because age is 20. So, with this I hope it is clear what is the significance of the shorthand if else. With the help of shorthand if else, we can reduce the number of lines of code in our program. So, with this we are done with this topic as well. This means that we are done with this entire lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.